What is going on, Nissan Nation? From all things Nissan here in my studio. So wherever you're watching around the globe, this is your Nissan Nation podcast, and I'm your host. I shouldn't say podcast anymore. Nissan Nation Productions. And I'm your host, David Boyd. What is up, gentlemen and ladies? Hopefully you guys are having an awesome, awesome Sunday. I know I have. If you're a mother and you're watching this, God bless you for one thing. And uh, happy Mother's Day. I know it's a, it's a strange time to want to do live videos, but hey, you know, why not? We do them every Sunday and uh, let's see. What's up? If you guys would, uh, especially tonight, I think we've hinted enough about tonight's video. If you guys would like and share the heck out of this video for me tonight, it would mean a great deal to me. I'm going to post this over on, um, if I can figure it out, I'm going to post this over on um, Facebook. Just give me, bear with me just a second, guys, and we will, we will figure this. Why not? We do, we'll figure this out. We're going to figure this out together, right? So, uh, Andrew, how, how is Georgia? Aaron, you back in Florida? Austin Smith, what's up, buddy? I'm, uh, man, I'm pumped to be with you guys tonight. I really am. I've had a, I've had a, many of you don't know, I've had a tough, tough week. We, uh, I lost my brother this week, and, uh, I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But first, if I can ever figure out, uh, Danny or somebody will share this. We'll make sure Danny or somebody shares this thing. Anyways, let's see. Speaking of which, let me tell Danny. All right. So it's just me tonight. Danny is stuck in a Mother's Day thing. Uh, you know, what's up? What's up, Croy? The croc is here. <laughs> He's not late for Dave. Um, man, I'm uh, super pumped. I'm super pumped. Uh, can I hear you now? No, Andrew, I cannot hear you now. Me and Andrew were trying to we were trying to have a talk earlier today, and it stupid streaming software, you know, doesn't always want to cooperate with me for some odd reason. Expedition Outfitters, what's up, buddy? Thank you about the the brother thing, man. That, that means a lot. Um, let's see if we'll let this burn just for a minute here, and hopefully we we'll get a few more on here. If you guys, once again, if you would like and share the crap out of this one. Uh, Frontier people are really going to want to know this one. We're going to talk 2021 20, Frontier. And here in a little bit, you're going to get an exclusive. So, and after this video, you're going to really get a good exclusive. So, you're going to stick around. Got to get my, my trusty monster going with the uh, Ultra Paradise tonight. Uh, G GA's man. I understand that. I understand that. So let's let's just get right into it. And uh, hopefully, I don't I don't uh, well up on this one. So many you many of you guys are friends with me on Facebook and, and probably seen the news that my brother suddenly passed away. My brother had bat he'd been battling some health issues, but um, it was a sudden, unexpected thing. He had some he had some. Um, it wasn't Corona, but it was the symptoms were sort of like it, and it's. And I don't want anybody to think that he passed away of Corona, but he did not. Uh, so he had an infection in his kidneys, which somehow spread to his lungs and caused his lungs to fill up. And, it, you know, just his heart gave out and trying to get all the trying to keep him alive, basically. So um, but I want to say this about my brother. If it weren't for my brother, who was he, he was 56 years old this year and I'm 45. So, you know, you can see the difference. He was quite older than me. So. It really wasn't until later in life that we kind of connected. I mean, I remember being a little kid and my brother, you know, playing with me and stuff. But, um, you know, by the time I was getting to be 10 or so, he was in his 20s and, and so on. But my brother, more than anything, got me into cars and trucks. He, um, he, oh, sorry, uh, conversation going there. Um, is someone get to ban hammer for corporate? Uh, but my brother, he, he, he was into models all the time. And, and in the late seventies or eighties, man, that was like, many of you may not realize it, but that was an exciting thing to build models and, and, and stuff like that. Um, my first experience with uh, Nissan slash Datsun was with him. My brother had a, a, a 210, a B210 that was, uh, just really a rust bucket, to be honest. It was the, had the old honey, honey, uh, comb, uh, hubcaps. It was ugly yellow. Not even a cool yellow, and I remember he had he had a lot of problems with that car. You know, uh, it was pretty beat up and worn out by the time my brother got it. But I um 
I, if it were not for my brother sparking the interest in cars, because my brother always had, he was always, you know, racing around the neighborhoods when he shouldn't have been, or, you know, he, he got in a severe accident one time and I'll never forget this. Some, somebody found him, he crashed head first into a wall and he'd shoved his, he had a, he had a, a Chevrolet, a Vega, his little two door fun little car, but he would hit the wall so hard. He'd put his head into the glass and I don't know how, how it did not kill my brother, but I never forget. And this is like, there was no ambulance. Like somebody stopped and they got into my parents' house and I'll never forget blood, you know, and this sounds grotesque, but I don't mean it to just blood all over his face. And you would have thought if anything would have ever made somebody kind of get out of cars, it would be like getting in a severe accident. He, he hit so hard. And my brother was a pretty big man. He bent the steering wheel towards the dash and you know, he still, as we buried him, he still had glass in his head. That's how severe this was. And just over the years, you know, I, I grew up a little bit. My brother, he, you know, went kind of our separate ways a little bit. But somehow, somehow over the past probably 10 years, we reconnected. And it, it just, it, it was, all, you know, it was awesome. He uh, learned a lot of mechanical things from him. Um, just, just overall, like, he was a gentle giant and, but anyways, I wanted to say that about my brother. He, uh, he meant a lot to me and, um, uh, he's going to be missed. So there, there is that before you see weepy, weepy Dave. Um, but my big brother will be missed. Anyways, it's not what you guys are here to talk about tonight. We are here to talk about all things Nissan. If you have a car question of any, you know, automotive in general, please bring it up. I'm a, I don't know if you guys have noticed the hashtag 2021 frontier, but we've talked about it for a long time. I've known about this, this truck for a really long time, uh, longer than some dealers have known about this truck. Um, I seen, I've seen concepts of this truck and I've, I've got to, I cannot, and I, and I cannot say how this ever happens. Cause I do, I do have people hit me up all the time going, Hey, how did you do this? I can never reveal my sources on anything Nissan related just because there's, n there's no reason for one. Uh, I worked hard to gain my sources within the company and, um, whoever's in the auto journalism world, they do the same, you know? And, and at the end of the day, that's what me and Danny are. We, we cover Nissan exclusively. Um, we talk about other brands, but we, you know, this is sort of our beat in life, I guess, is, is to worry about what Nissan's doing and, you know, and to bring out the positives and some of the negatives. But um, first off, I want to ask, did any of you guys get to watch the video that I dropped? Uh, what was it? Friday about the 2021. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Jeff. Yeah. I'm, there's still a couple bugs. I've got to, uh, I've got to work out and uh, hopefully you got to see an intro. I like, I got the intro working tonight. Um, there was a hold screen that you got to see before the intro. And I literally have an outro to this now. So we're, I'm getting the bugs worked out. I've got to get one more monitor over here to work so I can. And then my, uh, it guy son said everything will be cool. But so did any of you guys get to watch, um, the video that I dropped this week. And I'm curious to know your, your position on some of the stuff that, that I brought up and do I have my sheet with me? Oh, pardon me, just a sec. Go on the ground. Go on the ground, fellas and ladies. I got my paper here. I got, I'm sometimes professional. Sometimes I'm, you know, do my research. But so, you know, the, the video was titled things that the next Nissan basically needs to be competitive. And, um, uh, let's see. I got some bugs that worked out on my dirt bike. Right. Nice. But we, um, I'm a Ron old dude. Thank you so much. I am, um, I'm curious what you guys think about the, um, uh, about some of my thoughts on it and, and whether it be the, the 3.8 liter V6, you know, do, do you feel like Nissan's going to need to bump the horsepower up, which I, I think they're toying with it right now. I think it, at the 310 that, that they're claiming this engine who, oh, that's another thing we're going to get into. Do they actually build this truck now? But the, the 2020, uh, you know, has the, the heart of the next lion basically in it and does, does Nissan bump the horsepower up? So do you let it just for a minute have 
have the horsepower that 310 and then you go okay the next truck we've got to bump it up to 315 you know nissan has a history of this because the the titan the gen 1 titan came out and it was what uh three 305 something like that and then they uh, like a year or so later they bumped it up to 315 i think it was and then they forgot about they built a, a full-size truck but that's for the another show um but do you guys do you think that that they're going to play coy with with the horsepower and you know make the make the next truck stronger because i can't i can't believe that nissan let all the cards out of the out right now like you know they they give the 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 torque of it i think it's 281 still that really didn't change um and the american buyer especially we always want something more powerful more powerful unless it's a toyota Toyota for some reason gets away with like less, 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 and people just keep gobbling the the Tacoma up. And I had somebody comment about that on um on that video, and they they made they made some really uh good points. Um, Austin Schmidt would like to see a turbo four or a twin turbo uh, V six. Wouldn't a twin turbo in that truck be awesome? Uh, a single turbo in that truck would be awesome. Let's see. Oh, Danny's hitting me up. Um, oh, he's sharing the link for us. Thank you, Danny. Um. But they also talked about the next truck is going to be lighter, and I can only assume that means aluminum panels. Um, styling, I talked about a little bit, that they're going to have to up their game with it a little bit. And if you look at the current Navara, they definitely have like up their game. And the way, the way that I see, and I've said this before, the way I see that the Frontier is going to be is don't look at the next, the 2021 as a third-gen truck. Um at all i just after seeing you know what i've seen of the truck it just it's like a fourth gen truck it's like in in 15 years of a second gen i mean it makes sense but you know you can look at the navara and you can see the current the current frontier in it. and of course the the previous navara was basically the same truck um but if you look at the the navara you can see it okay there's there's some design cues where it was just a gradual this is what it's going to but the 2021 is like its own it's kind of a new monster and it, it's 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 super exciting and i'm pumped about it and i i hope you guys i mean i clearly i think everybody's pumped about it because i get a lot of questions about this uh, and i'm sure danny does too about you know seeing seeing the vehicle and all um but I, I, in this video, I talk about that it needs to have a better transfer case and that, and it, and not that the, the one in the Gen 2 is a bad one. It's just, it's more of a, it's more of a, almost to me feels more like an all wheel drive thing, less and not, not necessarily more off-road worthy. And yeah, not, not all, all, you know, not all four wheel drive needs to be considered for off-roading, but in a truck, that's a big part of it. Whether you know you're just on your your family farm or you're on some fire roads, you want to be you want to be fairly capable. Uh, what's up, that car guy Tim? Yeah, buddy. Sorry, I I had a two button system going on there and one didn't work because I I set this thing to auto do everything and it didn't obviously auto do. Um, so and then see towing, I, I, the truck's gonna have to tow, and the Ford Ranger right now just crushes everything in the mid size market for towing. Of course. Ford's known to exaggerate that. I think, in my opinion, Ford's they exaggerate that quite a bit. Their uh, their tow rating a little bit. Yeah, can like the F one fifty? Can it tow over twelve thousand pounds? It sure can. Like, and I guarantee you, a damn front Frontier right now could tow ten thousand pounds. But could it do it without, you know, the load that you're pulling, pushing it everywhere? No. And I think there's a bunch of Ford people out there that would fuss about that yeah i've got this 12,000 pound capable f150 that uh you put some weight behind it and suddenly it's pushing the truck all over the place and um uh in expedition outfitters i know you're a ford guy man and i'm not bashing for it because they make every every manufacturer honestly makes a hell of a product anymore um but i i do what what's up groots in the house danny danny if you're uh if you're capable of, I can add you to a phone call like we used to, if you're uh, capable of doing that, but let's see what else I got into that. I got into uh, the price, you know, there was reports came out this past week that, that old oh, Nissan's going to jack the price of this vehicle, like way, way up. The next frontier is going to just be so expensive. And GM did it. 
GM just bumped the price of the Colorado up by three grand, something like that. Something pretty, pretty drastic, really. Um, who else? Let's see. Uh, obviously, they all see what what Jeep is doing with the Gladiator. Even though the Gladiator it sells, and and it's it's it sells okay, but the price that they're getting is forcing everybody to go. Okay, if Jeep can get that, why can't we just upcharge everything? And I really think that that Ford kind of Ford generally, you know, even though they're sort of a new player to the midsize market right now, they generally set the tone for what the global markets are going to do with things like like the EcoBoost and all that, you know, it wasn't until Ford jumped into that or aluminum, you know, aluminum stamping that everybody else started jumping into that stuff. So I'm, um, I, once again, I'm curious to what you guys, what you guys think about that. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> let's see, Andrew, you can't, so I'm, I'm catching up here, guys. Let's see. Uh, Ford is notorious for bumping up numbers without making any real improvements. They just say that they have the best numbers, which I agree. I agree. Ford Ford can get away with a lot, and um, I think they're in some trouble right now, anyways, with some of their fudging of numbers with their diesels. Um, like most people, most people, it clearly shows you like the diesel, and this is a tangent. It shows you that these eco diesels, oh, they're all diesel super eco friendly now, and it's and it's they're not, and it's nothing against diesels, but yeah, the diesels always gotten great miles, but they're not super. Um, uh, emissions happy or uh, friendly. So, anyways, up. Uh, what's up, Carrie Beasley? Let's see. Uh, we've done some sketchy towing in Anthony's Frontier, but he got the job done. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've done some sketchy tow. Me and Danny did some sketchy towing in his Frontier. We uh, towed his Xterra out to the California Speedway one time. But anyways, let's see. Uh, I think their truck market is way too expensive for all me. Yes, yes, Expedition Outfitters row it. I and right now too, especially with the way the Corbion. Thanks, buddy. Um, the way the market is right now, and with this global issue that we're all going through, I don't know how. I don't know how um, that people can justify raising the prices the way they do. Um, I will say this: so Nissan manufacturing. I'm I'm in some groups, being a an employee, an ex employee of Nissan, uh, Yates Nissan that there's Facebook groups like for everything anymore. There's Facebook groups or anything. So, you know, current and old employees have a Facebook group that I'm a part of. And I will say this, like they all think that they're about to go back to work. And I know GM and everybody's talking about, you know, kicking it back in gear, but I'm, I hate to be bearer of bad news, but there's going to be about half of the employees that are going to still be furlonged for, a few months I can I they don't need even Ford and GM right now I can't imagine that they need to just get right back to the numbers they were doing and maybe you guys uh what's up Whelan Weber VK 56 is life um I can't imagine that auto manufacturing in general right now needs to kick back into 100 percent gear because as it was all these manufacturers were were struggling to sell cars at the beginning of the year things were slowing down slightly uh, we all know that that Nissan, you know, their fair share of uh, of issues and, and whether that it's the Titan selling uh, Altima, Sentra and all those those were selling pretty well. But uh, full size trucks were not selling as where they need to be at all. I mean, you're selling 2000 Titans right now a month. And I haven't seen I'll be curious when I think quarter comes out in June. So I'll be curious to know what their sales numbers were, though I I have heard that the the auto industry in general has they've actually sold cars right now. It's not like an 09. But Nissan wasn't selling a ton of that full size truck as is. So, you know, do does Canton, Mississippi need to really kick in gear? Which brings me to the point of if Nissan was gonna build the the twenty twenty. We all know you. You've seen me cover the Chicago Auto Show when they showed it, the new motor and all that. I know they built thousands of those. They're sitting there waiting to be shipped to dealers. But do you do you uh, do you just stop? What do you What do you guys think? Do you stop building the 2020 and go ahead and start retooling for the 2021? Um, because it doesn't. I mean, yeah. There's there's parts that have already been ordered. 
And the way manufacturing works, it's all an on-time delivery. So there's some subcontractor that's building parts that, you know, so I know I used to work with mirrors on the truck line. I would pull mirrors out of a crate, get them to the line, and that was my job. It was a simple, silly task that a ton of people in warehousing could never, I don't know. I, I dealt with some uh, some odd people. Um, but so you've got your little subcontractors that build, you know, wiring harnesses in that, or Hitachi builds a lot of stuff for these, these basically all the manufacturers anymore. Um, they've all got to kick back in gear and it's a slow, steady thing, but do you just go, okay, we're going to run out of that stuff. And we're now focusing. It may take an extra month. We're going to refocus. We're going to go right to trials of the 2021 and which they do generally, generally trials are, we would be building, say, the current um, the current frontier. We would be building that, and depending on if they they have like stages, so they have like PT one, PT two, and towards the end of PT two, it was ready to be sold. So like PT one, they would usually do like six trucks, and uh, they would go through. You'd put those trucks together. They'd go drive them, you know, beat the crap out of them, look for squeaks, look for noises, look for things that. Whether it be as minute of thing as uh, welding spots, which I remember there was a problem with the Maxima when they were doing it. They were uh, changing something over, and it the computer wasn't programmed right for a welding spot, and it was messing things up. So there's a lot of um, um, stuff like that. So do you go ahead and just let's go right to PT stage with this truck. Um, there's four of them, I think, floating in the United States as is. I can't believe that somebody hadn't snapped a picture of one just yet. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of talking tonight without Danny. Um, but do you go and start, hey, man, we're just going to go in. We're going to knock these things out. We're going to do the PT trials. Usually after a PT1, <clears throat> it takes uh, about three weeks, and then they start PT2 trials. And and once again, it's whether they're getting uh, making sure that uh, the manufacturing process is tight enough with, with the doors. Are they are – they, uh, shutting the way they should you know there are the gaps the way they should on the hoods and all the body panels and by the end of this pt2 we would start so pt1 you build six or so cars maybe more but you would do them in stages pt2 you might build in one day you might build six and then a couple days later you might build two and then you might build seven or eight more um and but by the time of it they would get 20 25 of those and by the time of the end of it those trucks were ready to be sold, that you couldn't find flaws in those vehicles. So that's why I think we're in a strange time for um, for where where the the world is with with Nissan in in the new truck. What I'm sorry, I haven't been I'm, I've been on my 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 pedal still here talking. Let's see, VK is live. Twenty seven watching. Can we get at least thirteen more before the big news? Yes, uh, we need more people before the big news. <coughs> uh, before the the Nirvana news is is like for the past five years, everybody said that's coming. I um. Did Danny ever text me back? I apologize, guys. Uh, ah, oh Danny, look at there, big news didn't drop tonight. Appreciate that, Danny. Um, oh, let's see, did I miss anybody that car? Tim, it's still like a handful in Vancouver. Enjoy is practically. Uh, also the goofy placement for the push start. Yes, Brian Turnquist, the goofy position that they did for the push button on the current, the 2020. That was the first thing, when I opened that door in Chicago, that was the first thing I noticed about this thing of like, that's that's kind of odd. Um, but it, it makes sense in, in this, Brian. They were already remolded the the center console because the shifter changed and the position of that, of that shifter changed. So you were already going to have to to remold that. So it didn't make sense to you read molding that and then read mold the dash. I understand it. It doesn't mean we have to be happy about it, but I do understand it. Um, but I, you know, we were talking to a pickup truck plus SUV talk a few weeks ago. And, you know, I, I don't know if it was that car guy, Tim brought it up. I think it was that. Is this current 2020 going to be the rarest of rare vehicles? You know, do they build like 2,000 of them? And then it's like, well, that was cool. You know, is it, what a, is that a justified send out for that that body style? Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Cody. I did maybe cough and didn't wash my hands. You want me to go leave real quick? I'll go leave and wash my hands and come back for you. 
I wouldn't want to spread this to you guys. Let's see. Um, Aaron Powers, enjoying Crown and Royal, uh, the show with your dad. That's awesome, man. I um, got to see my parents today. And once again, if you're uh, a mother I'm watching this, happy Mother's Day. We got all kinds of good surprises coming around. So you 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 kind of know. Uh, clearly, we've hinted once again. We've hinted around about what's what's coming up in a little bit, and I think you guys can wait a few more minutes. Um, or can you? Um, hopefully, somebody's got bail money for me. Um, <laughs> uh, it, damn, yeah, and Tim, that's that's right. It'll be a needle in a haystack. And how would you ever know the difference? The only way I would know the difference is if you look at the bed, they didn't put any bed caps on it for uh, protecting the top of the, the back bed. <coughs> Let's see. Nissan needs to build a Titan to compete with the F-250. Shadow Wolf. Um, so I haven't heard that, Austin. So Austin's saying the 2020 Corvette is possibly uh, stopping production at 2000 and some change and making it the lowest uh, production year. Um. Huh, that's interesting. Um, of course, you know, GTR is about, uh, about gone too. That's why Nissan's bumped the price up. They don't want to sell anymore right now. And they, uh, you, some weird, you know, and this is speculation on my part, but the Japanese are very strange about, they don't want to be like, just end it. But I was, there was a rumor going around within the Nissan community that uh, the GTR may be gone. And then a couple of years later, bring it back. And uh, Nissan does have a history of that with like the Z, the 300ZX. Stopped it for a few years. Let's see. Uh, Alex Beam, thank you for uh, thank you for uh, joining us, man. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, we haven't rained you off too bad. You seem like you like the videos. Uh, super chats to bail Dave out. Um, yeah, isn't that isn't that the truth? So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna drop a picture of the 2021 Frontier tonight. And I'm going to, and I'm going to preface it by this. What you will see tonight is maybe not the final form of this vehicle, because this, this picture that I was given to by somebody within uh, Nissan land was, um, it's about a year old now. Well, actually, I think it's just a tick over a year old now. Um, and it was something that Nissan was showing. They were showing everybody to get to get excitement. They wanted to, if you remember about a year ago, Nissan was really tanking. And uh, they needed to get, you know, dealers and uh, subs and everybody. They needed to build some excitement. That morale was super low within the whole brand of Nissan. So, I am... Um, it's the new Frontier Heavy. I, I, Brian, I don't know any other than the, the details that, that, you know, motor details we've seen and the transmission details. I do not know anything about that right now. Uh, so this, this picture, I want to, I'm going to preface this, this, and, and there's going to be a video right after this live streams drop. There's another video that's going to be dropped on our channel and please like and share the piss out of this video guys. Um, I, uh, We've talked about it. Danny and me's talked about it. We've talked about it when Holden was with us about this thing that um, Nissan's going to build obviously several different versions of the Frontier. They don't, you know, they don't just build one Frontier. There's an S, SV, Pro 4X, and maybe something else. Um, this that you are going to see might be the something else. Now, has the truck changed since then because they've pushed back production of this vehicle several times? Maybe it has. I can't, I can't, I don't have anything up to date. I've reached out to Nissan and they don't talk about, they don't talk about future, uh, future product. I've been told this several, several times. We do not, we do not talk about future product. So just so you guys know that, when I do show this here in a little bit, that I'm being as honest as I can be. This is the bones of the truck are there because I've been told I, somebody within that knows it within the company's seen it and said, yeah, there's, there's going to change, you know, the, maybe the grill's slightly different, but the bones of the vehicle are there. Um, 
but I'm really I'm hoping you guys are pumped about it. I know a few of my friends have seen it. You know, I've showed it to a couple people. Um, they've all they've all been super super excited when they seen that. Danny's seen it. Um, yes, at the at the time of this, they had a real truck person heading up the program, which they still do. Dan, they uh, they uh, you know, at one point we were going to get the Nirvara, and this is this is the honest truth. In 2016, we were scheduled to get the the current Nirvara. They had a new truck person jump in, and it was like, guys, you can't do that to the United States. You can't. the The U.S. is probably for midsize. One of the, I think, other than Indonesia area, we're the top midsize buying market. So, Indonesia, they the they require something a little bit different in a vehicle. Um, some of the t- the you know they're actually metric one tons i think so they're a little stiffer they don't ride as well the american buyers want something that's um rides well but still can tow a ton so it's you know there is the big debate do you go coils or do you continue to stay leaf springs now nissan has said in the past that they wanted to stick with leafs for the american the american audience but um do they uh ronald once again dude thank you so much uh, and anybody that's given super chats or, or whatever tonight, man, I do appreciate it. This money clearly, it, it helps fund what we do and I do greatly appreciate it. Um, so in 16, they were going to rehash some of the old parts and it was, it was just being counters going, Hey, this is what we need to do with, with making a truck and, and truck guys step in and it's like, you cannot do that. Uh, lights before lockers. <laughs> Um, enough chit chat. Sorry, rule. I got a lot to say here. Um, so anyways, do you guys want to see this thing? Uh, if, if somebody wants to see this vehicle, I'm going to, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need some participation here. Um, Danny, 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 I, we got, I got to talk to Danny just a second. I've got to, this is too big to not want to talk to Dan for just a second. Does he answer? Does Dan answer? That's the question. I don't know if he will. Hello? Does Danny answer the phone? Yeah. What's up, buddy? What's up, man? Sorry to hit you up like this, but I could not have a show of this magnitude and not have you on just for a second. I know. I've been trying to rip myself from this family gathering here. <laughs> well. And, uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to tell the wife on Mother's Day that you have to be so I, And, you know, I didn't even think about that when uh, – when uh, I scheduled for this, you know, me and you were talking about it this past week, and it never dawned on me that Mother's Day was this Sunday. Yeah, yeah, and well, you know what? We started this at like eleven thirty, and it's turned from a uh, lunch barbecue to a all day event, apparently. So <laughs> that's all right, man. You got to do that sometimes. Brian Turnquist, thank you so much. Um, so Danny, are the people going to be excited by this vehicle? Uh, absolutely. I was excited when I saw it. I, it blew my blew my mind about the styling and um, just how much different it looks than, than what we've seen before. So um, I'm, I'm really, I think my biggest thing is I'm really excited to see what everybody else's take on it is, you know? So you're right. I am, I am too. Um, uh, let's see Cody James. And we've been waiting a long time to see it. Um, yes, there's been a lot. And Danny, there's been a lot of speculations about this. And I seen it last week. Somebody just made a miniature Titan and said, there's your frontier. And, um, uh, I tried to explain to somebody that, hey, man, they're not going to uh, – something that doesn't sell well now, why would you make a miniature version of it? Yeah. And, I mean, it's not a it's not a bad – it's not a bad version of the truck. You know, I think it's better than some things I've seen. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's just it's, – you see that with the Z. You see that across, you know, and basically every brand. People come up with their own versions of it. Sometimes – they're way better than what comes out and sometimes they're terrible, you know? All right. So, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty stoked with, uh, with what they, with what we, what we've seen. And I'm really hoping that we get something similar to what we've, to what you're about to show everybody. Right. So let's see. Let's, uh, I think it's, I think it's going to pop up. Let's see. All right. We've got it up, Danny. It's out. The people needed to know. So the people get it. All right, so I've I've stressed this time and time again that the picture I have is not a by by any means perfect picture of this vehicle, but it does give you a good design idea of what is going on with this vehicle. 
um, this particular version, I don't know if you can uh, make uh, heads or tails of the grill there, but it says something, or I, from what I can make out, it looks pretty interesting, Danny. Yeah, it looks like there's an O at the end of the grill, correct? Like, oh my god, this is going to be badass? Like, like Nismo, maybe? <laughs> so that could be the Nismo version. Um, the color scheme seems very Nissan, you know, like a very specialized Nissan color scheme in that. I mean, the color in the picture is all messed up because we right. got a... It's not the most extreme best picture in the world, obviously. Well, well when somebody's doing a sneaky sneaky for you, it's kind of uh, it's <laughs> kind of hard to. Uh, hey, could you uh, reposition that a little bit, buddy? Yeah, right. Looking yeah, no, it uh, it came it came across our laps, um, and uh, we were we were very excited when that when we saw that picture. We were, and honestly, this we had every intentions of releasing this. God, Danny, it's almost nine months ago. Wow. Do you, do you believe that when I got a phone call somehow Nissan got my it's amazing how a big corporation can get your phone number when they need it yeah right <laughs> <laughs> um, and guys so you know I'm going to release the full picture of this thing tomorrow uh, where you'll get a you can screen capture it whatever you want to do I've got there's a little bit more of the truck you can see but there's also after this video there is um I'm dropping a video of this thing, so and I explained the picture a little bit better. So, uh, Danny, they seem to be very, very excited. Yeah, you know what? Um, I can't, I can't look at on my phone right now. Uh, to oh, see I, what I apologize. I apologize uh, because I'm talking on it. But well, you've seen it, dude. I've seen it. I'm happy now that the world is kind of getting to see it. Um, they should have seen this in Chicago, and for some reason, they didn't get the chance to see it. Um, so Danny, I will let you go back to your family, man. I, I just wanted to, I couldn't release this thing without your voice being a part of it. Well, I appreciate it, Dave. And I'll be, I'll be hopping back into the chat as soon as I get off and I'll, uh, I'll try and, I'll try and hang out with you guys, um, as, a and, and see what all these reactions are. So, all right, dude. But, uh, everybody let, let us know what you think, what, uh, what your first take is on it and, uh, what you think, uh, what you think's coming. That's right. Later, Danny. All right, buddy. See ya. There was Danny guys. Hopefully, uh. And once again, there's a video that I'm going to, as soon as I end this one, I'm dropping a new video that I really, that's the video I need you to share like crazy that I want you to, uh, the video that I drop here in about, you know, whenever we end this, that, um, that's the one you need to share like crazy. I want you to spread it everywhere. Um, and it's not, it's not to, you know, we, it helps us, but it's nothing, it's nothing ego driven on our part. It's just, I want, I want everybody to see it. And somewhat people that called me and Danny liars about this vehicle. They've, they've said, Oh, you guys don't know anything. And what, who would, you know, I understand there's people like all these piss poor articles that you, uh, um, <laughs> hero, but the, um, all these articles from Motor One or, or people that claim to be in the know, you guys, they a lot of they have good information, but guess what? Uh in NPC, thank you so much. Um they have information, but they do a lot of speculation. And and I I feel like me and Danny are very honest. When we say speculation, it's it's I try to be very honest about this. Um and once again, guys, don't worry about screen capturing this right here to share it. The next video, it's as soon as I'm finished up here, which I'm about done. You can there's a bigger picture that you can screen capture, and then, like I said, later later tomorrow, I'm going to release actually the image that I have, and you can copy it, do whatever you want with it. Um, you know, I I think, like I said before, what tell me your opinion? Do you you see the headlight? Do you, does that look like a third gen or does that look like a fourth gen vehicle? Because in my mind, this truck's a fourth gen vehicle. I'm, I'm very curious. Um, um, <laughs> the best person I've ever known. Um, but anyways, let me do the, Hey, while we're talking, because I've got your ear, I'm going to go ahead and drop this, that other video. You guys ready? I'll drop it and and you guys share, share that one all you want. So bear with me just a second, and we will uh, we'll really have some fun then. I'm uh, I've got more I've got more stuff I know about this company too, guys. So so be ready for one thing. 
All right, let's see. <coughs> Boom. That video now is public. So 2021 Frontier leaked photos, guys. Look for it, share it, love it. Do whatever you need to, you know. I I think Nissan needs a home run, guys, and this is a home run. So look, go ahead and like I said, you know, add another screen. Don't leave me now. Add another screen. Go to YouTube, make another tab, get that video, share it, love it. Like I said, that's the video I really want you to share. This one tonight was just more about you guys are you guys are, are the barnacles, man. You guys are uh, the best that show up for these things every Sunday, man. And I appreciate it so much. Um, I've, you know, I've said, wow, 2000 times. Does this Joe Taylor? I, you're you're always with us, man. Does uh, um, does does this get you excited about? No, I I just dropped it. Okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, guys, sorry my uh my management there was uh. I was making sure he knew it dropped because <laughs> I thought it was fifteen more minutes. Before. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. <laughs> Kelly says hi. By the way, Joe Taylor, do, does this does this excite you guys about what Nissan's got coming? Because it does me. And this truck's been in development for well over three years or more. So, you know, we all fussed and and oh Nissan, they don't listen. They don't do this. They don't do that. Um, and they do listen. And I want I want everybody to know that they they do listen. Let's see if I can move this up just a hair for you. You can see. Look at this. Ah can't do that it's messing with everything all right uh, anyways you guys get the idea um i hope i hope this thing excites everybody once again now i preface this by saying and i i hope i did it clearly enough earlier this is probably not the final version of this truck i know they've tweaked it <coughs> but this should been this should be enough to give you an idea of where they're headed with this vehicle so um for everybody that called me and danny liars um, there you go. Um, I, we've, I can't, I can't, uh, they do look like a H3 Hummer a little bit rule. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, yeah, there's some, you know, there's always common design traits. Um, uh, so definitely, definitely you can see in that new Pathfinder and stuff. Um, let's see. What does Cody say? <laughs> Cody says they make their MP three hundreds look like a pile of trash. Um Oh man, let's see. What else we got going on here? Just commented on the video, but I am intrigued. Nice. That is innovation that excites guys. That is it. <laughs> and for everybody out there that um I know, I know that's interested in the new, the new frontier, man, guys, this it's here. So, um, let's do this. I, uh, any last questions about this vehicle before I end this stream? Uh, let's see if I missed anything. Uh, it looks like a Tacoma sport with four grill headlights. <laughs> Cody, get the hell out of here. You're not a true Nissan person. Let's see. Where was that at? Uh, well, I got to find where you guys first started commenting because uh, the comments just went nuts. Uh, where is it at? Where did you guys? Uh, of course, Expedition Outfitters is there. Eh, it's not a Bronco. So, uh, where, man, you guys really, really blew, blew it up. Uh, all right. So here, eagerly waiting. You're killing me, Smalls. Uh uh, mom, doesn't take much to blow minds. Fronty warrior, no way. Warrior like, look at very boxy. Uh, looks sick. Is this? No way. Um, I'm I'm once again I'm happy. I I'm uh. Um yeah, Andrew, yeah, holding there. They've been busy, man. So I don't I don't know what that. Let's see. Uh. If you do them, um, Joe, hope once again, guys, the other video, <laughs> um, once again, and thank you guys for the support. We've been growing at about, uh, a hundred subs for 
<clears throat> about a every week and a half we've been gaining a hundred subs and so if you're new to the channel and a part of that man i do i do say thank you we've got some some more fun things coming we've got obviously i'm having fun with the juke whether people watch it or not i'm having a lot of fun with that build danny out in california has got the new 300 zx that he's he's monkeying with he's got his frontier out there which he dropped a video today about how he converted his uh, locker to work for two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive um I've got some some reviews I want to do. I'm dropping a I'm dropping a walk around video on my Xterra coming up, my Sast Xterra, and uh, let's see, a little more room in the back. Brian, there is nothing about this vehicle other than the engine and transmission I know about the actual build of it. I was told that this truck is going to sit on the same framing. Uh, obviously they're tweaked. I know even the 2020, I think some of the framing is slightly tweaked. Uh, but other than that, I have no, no actual nothing on, on any of that. And due to me releasing this picture, I may not be buddies with Nissan much longer. So, uh, maybe it's time for Danny. Is it time for truck, <laughs> truck life, uh, media to pop up and, uh, we just start covering everything because we may have, uh, Yes, there are roof lights, if you guys haven't seen that. If you look at, they look similar to uh, to Night Sky concept. Um, let's see. Uh, you did roast some gears in the, in the juke. <clears throat> all right, guys. So, from all things Nissan here in my office. <coughs> Man, my throat is all messy tonight. Um, where have you been watching us around the globe? This has been your Nissan Nation. And we are out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.